a maid opened a bedroom door for Janko cuz he was holding your unconscious body on his arm he entered the bedroom straight went toward his bed you can leave now and don't disturb us if i need something i will call you he said while walking toward his bed the maid slowly bowed and left before closing the door Janko gently lay you on bed and stroked your hairs behind your ear He was staring at your unconscious figure when a call interrupted him. He looked at the caller ID and said, "He wants to ignore but it was keep ringing so he received the call." "Gina, what? Janko, where are you? Where is my wife? Don't you dare to hurt her. Can you please stop shouting? And who the hell are you asking me? Where I am or what I am doing, huh?" Stay in your limits. Don't pretend like my mom. Just answer my damn question. Where is Wayne? With me? Where? Away from you all. Where is she? I I want to talk with her. I wish you could, but now she is tired and is really sleeping like a adorable baby. Janko ka beki. Please don't hurt Wayne. Kill me instead. As I said, I want to see you in pain, but I will never hurt my princess. He said and cut the call. He took off his blazer and shoes before get into bed. Slowly pulled you on his embrace, securely wrapped his arm around your tiny body. He kept you closer to him as much he can. Then his eyes shifted to your neck where he injected you. Is it hurting? He grasped the place with his thumb, making you clench his shirt. I guess it's hurting. I swear, I never wanted to do this with you, but you forced me to do that. You never listened to me. So that's why I have to harsh on you. Sorry. night he said and drifted on his stream land i woke up when sun heated on my face i was adjusting my version when i feel someone hugging me tightly which made me join my eyebrows in confusion i slowly opened my eyes and i was right But my breath hit when I got to know who is he. It's him. I slowly look up, only found him staring at me. Good morning, princess. How was your sleep? He said, caressing your cheeks. Oh, where I am? His eyes darkened when he shuddered, cause he hated the fact you scared of him. Why are you shuddering, princess? Are you scared of me? He said in dangerously cold voice which gave you shiver on your whole body. You know right, I hate the fact that you're scared of me. That you're scaring me. I am scaring you. How? I did not say anything. Just looking down. Trying to push him. But he pulled me more closer to him. Making my eyes wider. But he just chuckled and pinched my nose. You look cute when you look at me with wide eyes. He kissed my cheeks. I was just frozen on my place. It's true. I'm scared of him, but in the same time, I feel safe in his arms. He never hurted me. Instead, he saved my life. But why he doing this? Why he killed this? He was just courting me. I was lost in my thought but snapped out into reality when he spoke. Princess? <laughs> Fresh yourself. You did not eat since yesterday. They have some new clothes for you and everything you needed as you are staying here with me. Why here? I want to go home. His eyes turned into red. and his grip on your waist got tighter. As I said, you are staying here. That means you are staying here. I'm not gonna leave you. You have to obey.
way makes princess he said in dangerous deep voice but said so your tears he wiped it and get up from bed about to leave the room but before leaving he said i don't like to repeat the same thing and i am person of my word why he like this i can understand him for i am get up from bed and stand in front of the big glass window mountains and where are you i am trapped i know he won't leave me After first myself I came to downstairs found him staying on the couch scrolling through his phone suddenly he looked at my direction which made me start leg I quickly looked away he stand up and approach me finally he came let's go breakfast is ready before i say something he dragged me in dining hall It's been five minutes. You were sitting while staring at the food. We are just staring at you. Food can be finished by your stare, princess. I don't want to eat. Why? We didn't eat since yesterday. I don't want to eat. Jungle closed his eyes, trying to not burst out. Why? I said, eat your food. You shout and storm out from there. Finally, Janko burst up. He kicked the table with his all power, making the table fall on the floor with the foods, and started to throw things. Why she can't understand me? That I freaking love her. He screamed top of his lungs before storm out from the house. Time skip. 9 10 p.m. Jungle entered his mansion. His eyes were searching for you, but you were nowhere to found a book. Then he saw a maid coming downstairs holding a food tray. She stopped when she saw Jungle and bowed. Man did not eat her dinner. No sir, not only dinner. She also skipped her lunch and breakfast. Ah, uh, okay. Give the food. I will feed her. The maid nodded and handed him your dinner. Jungkook made his way toward your bedroom. He opened the door and entered inside. Only find you sitting on the floor, hugging your knees, crying mess. Jungkook put the tray on table before rushing toward you. What happened? He tried to touch you, but you yanked his hand and stood up. Stay away from me, Jungkook. Jungkook taken aback by your sudden change, 'cause you never called him by his last name or by his name. You used to call him Cool or Cookie. Just freaking stay away from me. Why the heck you took me here? I'm away from everyone. I want you to stay here with me, 'cause you're mine. Suddenly you grabbed his collar. Shut up. Just shut up. I'm not your private property. I have right on my own life. You can control me. What he wants? It's too easy. I only want you. He was controlling his anger, but the next thing you said, making him froze on his place. You want me on my body, huh? You shout and leave his collar. Just say now. You just want my body. What did you just say? He shouted, not believing his ears. I said the truth. You said and turned around, holding your head because it's hurting so badly. So you think I want you? Really? Check out that way. You should not say that to him because I know it's not true. But my anger took over me and I... Why the heck he is behaving like this? I want to know why he is doing this. I was on my own thought when I heard. So you think I want your body? I can feel the pain in his word, but I did not say anything. My head is hurting like a hell. But I hear some noise, and after realizing the sound, my 
eyes went widen. I look round. There I have a mirror. I can clearly see what he was doing. He was reloading his gun and put it on his head, making me turn to him. What are you doing? Freeing you from me by killing myself? As you already blamed me for something which I never imagined in my life. I will choose die rather than think about it. I can see his eyes become red. Is he crying? I never saw him crying before. He put his finger on the trigger. Stop! Don't do something stupid. Put the gun down. But he shook his head. I'm telling you, put the gun down. Don't come near me. Let me die, then you will be free from me. Stop that nonsense. For you, it might be nonsense, but for me, it's the test to prove my love for you. It's fucking hurting. It's hurting. When you love someone hardly, but the person never understands it and thinks. Your eyes widen by his sudden confusion. What did you just say? You? Yes, I am. But you never understand. I just want you to love me back. I also want to feel love. But I guess it will never happen in this life. Then let me die. He closed his eyes and more tears come down from his eyes. He took that chance and took the gun from him before throwing it in the corner of the room. He looked at you while his eyes kept falling. Are you crazy or something? Do you have any idea what are you doing? Life is not game. He did not say that it is just trying to make you. Say something! Suddenly you feel good entangled in a warm embrace. It's him who is hugging you tightly and sobbing like a baby. Can't you understand the heavens? Can't you see in my eyes? Can't you feel it? How could you think about the shit which I will never imagine in my life? Why? I just froze on my place. I never saw him behaving like this, nor saw him crying. What made you think I want that? Did I ever touch you impatiently? Did I ever force myself on you? Did I ever or mistakenly cross my limits? Just tell me. Yes, he's right. He never touched me impatiently, nor forced me. He always stays in his limits. About the kiss? It is friendly. Tell me, did I? You shook your head. I want words like this. Never. And how could you think? I didn't say anything. He broke the hug and looked at my eyes with his big dull eyes. Then tell me, why did you say it? I- I'm sorry, I was angry. Why are you doing this to me? Why did you bring me here? Why did you kill Jason and you got off when he shows you placing his index finger on your lips? Calm down, princess. I will give your answer one by one. But first, you have to eat something. You didn't eat anything since morning, so be a good girl and eat your dinner. You slowly know that he made you sit on the bed and bring the food and started to feed you. She was also eating like a good girl. After finishing his food, she want to know about that why I'm doing this. First reason, because I love you. When he said, I love you, my heart skipped a bit. My face started to hit him. I want you to be mine. I want you to love me back. Believe me, I can't live without you. And second, I am keeping my promise. Promise? Yes, I promised you that I will took every responsibility of yours, especially your safety. And now we are here because you have a life fix. I'm trying to protect you. Life fix? But how? I'm confused. 
It's not the right time for your understanding this situation. But trust me, you will get it soon. Understand? You slowly know that you're ahead. Fine. Please don't say these things which you said some time ago. Sure, each word still saving my heart. I'm sorry. Can you try to look me back? I look at him while my mouth is half open. It's powerful my faith is asking me to love him back. No, I am in dream or in real life. Can you? He asked you but you did not reply, making him sick. He stood up and spoke. I think I'm really hard to love. He about to leave when you hold his hand making him look at you. The end or to be continued. Comment down, sweethearts.